Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here on Center Street. It's Trump Day, we can call it. April 4th, 2023. Donald Trump will today be arraigned um, and then released. Uh, but we're here outside. It's 9 in the morning, hours before this takes place. And Baxter Street is closed. Collect Barn Park is locked, at least on one side. The area is jammed with tents, media, global media. The circus has begun. Um, Alvin Bragg, I'm sure, is... Uh, uh, congratulating himself somewhere. Um, the crowds are coming in. Now, we've come out here. We have other cases to cover, but we are covering this. We'll also be covering the Carroll versus Trump case, but um, this is a scene that has to be seen. Uh, there was a line last night of people, uh, uh, some people were paid to hold lines for other media organizations. So it goes. Uh, it's an American system. Um, but a case that we're going to be covering today is uh, Mr. Guo Wenghui. Some call him Miles Guo. He has a bail hearing at 11.30. Ironically, some are reporting that that will be the time that Trump will arrive at the courthouse. If so, it's, we're going to be juggling. Also, at 2 o'clock, his chief of staff, Yvette Wang, will have a, a separate bail hearing in front of a separate judge, a magistrate judge named, well, a magistrate judge. Uh, so you could have contradictory results. Yesterday, the government filed in the, in the Miles Grove case uh, a list of things they found after they arrested him in his house, including a, an expired Vanuatu post uh, passport, a UAE passport, and I don't. They included it, I think, kind of uh, um, to troll him. Uh, CCP pins. You can draw your own conclusions, but they listed it in the letter. Uh, we're covering a number of other cases. There's a very sad trial taking place on Forty Foley uh, of a woman, Erica Zapp, that was uh, killed by a after a, a failed operation in Sloan Kettering. Wait, we've got some guys here. We've got Black's rehearsal. Hang on a second. All right, well, things have begun, and maybe you can see it. Behind me, it's a scene. It is what it is. The United Nations, of course, totally corrupt. They said they have no comment, but it's beyond that. They have thrown the press out and essentially concealed the links of Antonio Guterres to the Chinese Energy Fund Committee. Google it. To be continued.